Hi guys, Snapper here, and today I'm going to bring you my first Sony Vegas tutorial. And today we're going to be doing something that looks a little bit like this. Let's just replay that. So as you can see, we've got the black bars there. And as you can see, we saw the black bars animate and move into when I shot, um, well, when I when the shot hit. So first up, open Sony Vegas Pro, which conveniently I've forgotten to do. So let's load up that. <coughs> and I'll also be showing you a couple more things to go along with the ah, to go along with the uh, black bars. And I will be linking the image for the black bars also, so you can have that as well. Okay, so I don't know what it's doing here. Oh, it's loading up the entire thing. Okay, um, new project. Open a new project, and we've got 1280 by 720. There we go. Uh, 59.94. Uh, start a new project reset. Yeah, there we go. And I'm gonna want you're gonna want to import the clips you import the clips you've downloaded or you've recorded. I'm gonna go to my desktop, and I've got these two set up for me. So I've got the shot, and I'm gonna import the sound. I'm gonna import both of those by holding control. And I'm going to import the shot there. I'm going to click U to ungroup it. And I'm going to delete the sound or the audio. And then I'm going to import the song as well. So there we have the shot. And all I need is about uh, easier motherfucker. Be. Okay. Okay. That's all. That's pretty much all we need. Um. Um, oh my god. Okay. I'm going to split the audio about there because I don't really need it. I'm not going to show you how to do the entire edit. I'm just going to show you how to do the black bars. So, there we have it. And now I'm going to import the original black bars that you saw in the entire, entire clip. Uh, where is it? There we go. I will link you to these, to the uh, uh, all the files I use, guys. So no worries. And insert a vi insert a video track by, you know, just right clicking. I'm going to drag that to the end of the clip. I see. Then we now have. There we go. We now have uh, the black bars. And in the right click, I've forgotten to this, guys. So you're going to want to right click the clip, clip, and press disable resample. Just makes it less uh, warped and blended. And I'm just going to click properties on this and maintain aspect ratio, disable resample. Event pan crop. I'm just going to drag. One sec. Uh, Do, do, do my bad guys, my bad. There we go. Okay, that'll do it for now. And there we have the basis. So you're just gonna I'm gonna do the sound actually really quickly. So as you heard it went it kinda did like a bass drop. So I'm gonna go into my little editing pack. Not my editing pack, thanks to David David Snipe H D. Um wrong one. Gun sound effects, Modern Warfare 2, Intervention, I'm just gonna drag that in. I'm gonna make a new audio track. Yeah, there we go. Why have we got. Ah, my bad guys, my bad. Duplicate track, there we go, okay. Delete that, and delete that. I'm just gonna scroll down. Find where I shoot the shot. Oh yeah, you want to click. You want to right click on the sound and click reverse. It's going to give that whoosh, whoosh effect. Let's find where I shoot a bullet. Uh, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, I shoot about there. So I'm going to drag that about there. It's going to delete that bit there. And I'm going to import a base drop. I will also link you to this, guys. There. Base drop, there we are. I'm just going to import the base drop there. And what you want to do is going to right click that and click Audio Event Effects, Amplitude modul Modulation, OK. Bring that, you can leave that about there. Actually, you're going to bring that all the way up and bring that all the way up. And you're going to adjust that. I'm going to have it on about 5. There we go. 4.5, that'll do. There we go. That's nice. And yeah, now let's get onto that bars. Really quick and simple. You're going to find where you shoot shoot about there and if open event pan crop wrong clip open event pan crop find where I shoot keep going keep my frame Okay, yeah, I'm going to just put in a keyframe by double tapping. I'm going to go a couple of frames backwards. And then put another one there. And you're going to want to make another one for where you want to stop it. So I'm going to have it just as the one shot kill finally settles. There you go. I'm just going to double click again. And what you're going to want to do to make the black bars, you're going to want to click hold control and drag it in to where you want it. You can see that there. Uh, you can do wherever you want, I prefer it about there. And then you're going to want to come to this next one. And I've done. YouTube. Okay, okay, okay. Just gonna delete that one. And you're gonna want to find where you want it to settle. So for me, it's about there. And I'm just gonna hold control and drag it back up. That's about right. Liking that. So you should have you should have this as it comes in. It's going to go bang, and it zooms all the way back out. There we go. That's perfect. Liking that. And so now what you can do is now that you have the black bars. That's all synced, synced up. What you can do is, I'm gonna, as he lands, actually, I'm gonna split the clip there. I'm gonna drag it all the way back, and I'm gonna slow mo that to the end of the song. I'm just gonna delete that bit, and there you have it, guys. It's really simple really easy to do okay so it's not letting me preview it as fast as I'd hope to so but you get the idea you can see there it comes in goes back out and it slows mo slow mos there you go you understand that and that's really simple so there you go guys uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and as always don't forget to subscribe, rate and comment. Uh, yeah guys, I will be peacing out right now. Peace guys.